How's it going guys? It's Kay Cars, and in today's video I wanted to give you guys a quick update on everything that's going on with the rust issue on my Jeep Cherokee XJ back here. So of course like I was saying this whole issue of rust is very common with these old Jeeps. So if you guys are new to the channel this is my 2001 Jeep Cherokee XJ and in this video I was planning to kind of go over all the rust repairs that I have done to this Jeep and give you guys an update on you know some of the new rust that has formed and ways to prevent rust and of course i have made several rust videos with this jeep before but it is a super common subject with these old xj's so just wanted to give you guys a quick update of where we're at obviously in the beginning of this video i showed you guys the salty roads that we have right now so it's like 20 degrees out right now we have we got a whole bunch of snow uh this past week so you guys can see right here this parking lot here has not been plowed at all so we probably have like a good i don't know maybe half a foot six to eight inches or something like that but yeah so obviously if you're trying to prevent rust i definitely would not recommend driving in conditions like this especially if there's a whole bunch of salt on the roads so let's go ahead and do a quick walk around of my jeep right now and like i said i wanted to talk to you guys about all the rust repairs that have been done on this thing and then show you guys some of the rust that has recently formed after doing all the rust repairs so just to start out here the most common place to have rust on these old jeeps is the rocker panels and the rear lower quarter panels so if we walk around here to the rocker panel on my jeep right here you can see it is actually very clean and that's because we actually had the whole rocker panel replaced the inner and outer panel right here so as you can see it is in very good condition. Let's go ahead and walk around to the passenger side and show you guys what that looks like here. So the passenger side actually was not as bad as the driver's side at first, but we also did get it replaced here as well. I think they actually ended up only replacing half of it because the front part was still pretty good. So as you can see here, we do have a brand new rocker panel. So of course looks very good. And then the second most common area to have rust on these old Jeeps is the rear lower quarter panel here. I'll show you guys what that looks like. So there you can see we did get the whole rear lower quarter panel replaced. And then on the driver's side, same thing. You can see they replaced the whole thing. Now that's only for the body panels, like the rockers and the rear lower quarter panels. Uh, so if the outside of your Jeep is rusting, like the body panels, like I just showed you guys, if that is rusting, then you can almost guarantee that the underside is rusting as well. So stuff that you can't really see unless you're looking for it. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. So here you can see on this lower control arm bracket, you can see all the rust is starting to form right there see all that right there it's just kind of flaking off so of course that is definitely not good and then we also i wanted to mention the lift kit on this thing came with brand new control arms so let me show you guys the lower right there so there you can get a good shot at the lower control arm this is actually the rusty three inch advanced lift kit which of course like i said came with brand new control arms and as you can see we got this lift kit installed about a year ago and the parts are already starting to rust let me give you guys another view right here see the control arm right there starting to rust a little bit there's the coil spring looks pretty good sway bar disconnect also looks good only thing i'm kind of worried about is the control arm starting to get some surface rust so let's walk around to the passenger side here show you guys what it looks like so passenger side, can't see too well here, but let me give you guys a better view. Yeah, so I don't know how well it's gonna come out on camera here, but yeah, so it looks like the driver's side does have some more rust in the passenger side right there. I'm really not sure why that is, but it was actually the same way with the rocker panel. So the driver's side was a lot worse than the passenger side. So really not too sure why the driver's side gets more rust than the passenger side here. So as you guys saw right there, the rocker panels and the rear lower quarter panels are actually holding up very well. So I'm definitely very happy with how those turned out. And you know, there's still no rust, no visible rust at least on the body panels that I showed you guys. But like I said before, if you do have visible rust on the outside, like on the body panels, then you know you can pretty much guarantee that there's gonna be a lot more hidden rust that you actually can't see unless you get underneath there and actually look for it. But also, like I showed you guys, you can install a brand new part like that lower control arm that I showed you guys, and you know it can rust very easily. So I wanna say 
I only took this Jeep on like one actual snow drive where I drove it through a whole bunch of salt and a whole bunch of snowy roads. So, you know, that's that definitely did not help with the whole rusty situation. Uh, like I said, I definitely do not recommend driving around in snow or salty roads uh, like we have today. So that's definitely going to make your rust condition a lot worse. So that's probably what happened with the whole control arm uh, rusting after a year of having it on there. But also, if you guys know me and if you've been around the channel for a while, then you know I am very OCD about keeping my Jeep clean and restored. So after I drove my Jeep through that snowstorm, through all the salty roads, I had the entire underbody, you know, flushed out, um, power washed down to get all the salt out of it. And then I also had it descaled and undercoated. And that was actually after driving through the snowstorm and all those salty roads. So, you know, I would have expected that at least those new control arms would have held up a little bit better than that. And of course, it's nothing bad. I'm not saying the control arms are about to like fall apart because they're so rusty. It's just some surface rust that, you know, a little sandpaper would fix probably. So that's definitely what I would like to do sometime in the future is kind of just take care of some more of the surface rust that I have here. But that also brings me to the next point that I wanted to make in this video, and that is surface rust on the door jams. So one of the first things that I actually did when I first got this Jeep, I believe two years ago, um, is actually clear out some of the surface rust that was on the door jams here. So let me open up both the front and rear here and show you guys what I'm talking about. Now, these are the rust repairs that I actually did myself. And I do have tutorial videos on how I actually did this and what process I took to remove the surface rust that I had on the door jams. So let me show you guys a quick look at what it looks like now. So you can kind of see the line here. Um, so everything underneath this line is painted. So, you know, I sanded all the rust down then uh you know primered it and spray painted it so you can see right here that some of the surface rust is starting to come back a little bit kind of like in the cracks right here so obviously i couldn't get sandpaper to actually remove all the rust that was in those cracks and what i did was actually use a dremel tool so i got as close as i could inside the cracks to remove all that rust but of course i heard that the correct way to actually do this is to just bend down this fold like this uh, sheet metal and you know get all the rust off that way then bend it back so obviously doing it that way would be the correct way to do it we can look more over here now there's definitely a good bit of surface rust coming back here it's mostly just in the folds so if you look up on the actual surface where there's no like folded metal you can see it's holding up pretty well i think then we also did do the door jams right here now this um, entire door jam here is part of the rocker panel that was replaced. You can see the line right there where they replaced and painted. So of course that does look pretty good. But if you look back over here, I do want to point out you can kind of see it's starting to bubble a little bit right there. So I don't know if this portion was actually replaced or not, but you can definitely tell that there is rust starting to form underneath the paint here uh, just by all that bubbling right there. So give you guys a different view here you can see right here all the bubbling sheet metal and maybe a little bit right here too so obviously this bottom portion was completely replaced here because that's where the hole was so of course very happy about that we can see just barely a little bit of rust in this crack here let's get a good look at that right there so obviously nothing too major but you know, obviously rust starts out very small and then just spreads. So it's definitely something that you want to take care of. And then moving on to the bottom door jam here, we can look at this one. I actually did the rear passenger door, I think at the same time as the front. So we can look at this one right here and see it actually does look a whole lot better than the front in my opinion. Um, you can see there's really no visible rust coming out on the cracks right here. So I don't know, this might've actually been done after the front if it's in such better condition here but you can see i painted from this line down so sanding all the rust off then put primer and spray paint on here so you can see i think it's holding up pretty well here in my opinion get a look at the top right there see i mean i'm pretty happy with how this door jam turned out right here and now for the passenger side here you can see it is pretty similar to the driver's side i think i actually did do the um fronts together so passenger and driver's side front doors at the same time and you can see they are in pretty similar condition right here uh this part of the fold actually like came off when i was sanding it because it was i guess so rusty but you can see the line right over here so everything underneath 
is what I, you know, sand it off with sandpaper in that Dremel tool. Then I also applied, um, it's supposed to be called like rust proof primer, I guess. Um, you know, obviously not completely rust proof, but I applied that primer. Then I also used spray paint to obviously paint it Patriot blue to match. Get a look right here. So this is probably the worst door jam that I have on this Jeep. You know, obviously it's coming back right here pretty good. Um, we got a spot right here that's you know completely messed up right there. Got a few other spots on top here that definitely need to be corrected. And that's not even where I painted. You can see the line is right over here. See that beautiful paint job right there that I did. Yeah, so of course, this door jam right here is probably the worst out of the entire Jeep, like I said. Uh, then we can look at the rocker panel here. Now this part, like I said, it was replaced professionally, so obviously not by me. You can get a good look at that right there. You can see there's the line of where they uh, painted. So this part of the rocker is actually still the original metal. I believe they cut somewhere around here. So this rear portion of the rocker is actually brand new metal. We can open up the rear, show you guys this part. Right over here, pretty similar situation. You can see it's not in as good condition as the driver's side rear door. You can see the rust is kind of starting to come back right here on the little fold that I mentioned. The top portion isn't too bad here, but there definitely are some scratches right here. Now for this part, you can see the line that I actually uh, painted is actually closer here to the plastic. You can see the line right up there on top. So I guess I'm not really sure what caused these scratches right here, but that's definitely one area I can touch up. And right here, obviously, that is just a uh, you know beautiful paint job by me right there. And you guys can see right here, that's a pretty fresh scratch. Not sure what that's from either, but that could be touched up. And then we have some new rust starting to form on the very corner right there. Now, you know, it's obviously pretty dusty here from driving in all the salty conditions here, but you can see when it comes to like the actual metal portion here, the rocker is pretty good because obviously this is brand new metal. Uh, then we can, you know, some rust starting to form right here on the corner so you know that's what the passenger side looks like so far so as you guys saw there are some of the surface rust on the door jams are starting to come back especially inside those folds of the door jams so those are just spots where you know i couldn't get the dremel tool completely underneath there to get rid of all the rust so of course the completely correct way to do that type of job would be to you know unfold that little piece of sheet metal and make sure you get all the rust off um so you know obviously i didn't do that but if I did do it that way, then we probably would have had a much better result with this thing. So now I wanted to also show you guys the underside of this thing. So back whenever I got all those body panels replaced, so, you know, the, the rockers and also the rear lower quarter panels, I also did have the underside descaled and undercoated. And that was about a year ago, like I mentioned. So show you guys the, um, I guess like a one year review of it. So it was actually undercoated with fluid film. And I showed you guys this little control arm bracket in the beginning of the video. So there you can see, I think there is some new rust starting to form, kind of like there on the bottom. Then you can see here is where they kind of like flaked off the uh, old rust. Then you can see some fresh rust starting to form, you know, underneath right over here. So there's that. We can also move to the front here and show you guys what that looks like. So fluid film is one of those products where it's not going to make your underside completely black. So it's more of like a wax or oil based film. So it's not something that you just like spray on and it's not like paint or anything like that. So I'll show you guys the underside here. So yeah, I mean, it definitely does look a whole lot better uh, than what it looked like before I got it undercoated. But of course, it could look a lot better, you know, as always. So we did spend quite a lot of money to actually get all those rust repairs done. And if you guys want to see exactly how much money has gone into all the rust repairs and everything else on this Jeep, uh, definitely check out my video that I posted a couple months ago going over literally every single expense that has gone into this thing. I'm going to link that down in the description of this video below. So obviously the main thing that you guys can do to prevent rust is to, you know,
know, not drive in conditions like this where you're going to have a bunch of salt and snow on the roads. And of course, it's not fun to, you know, not drive your Jeep in these kind of conditions. So if you do want to drive your Jeep in these conditions, then, you know, you should definitely get your Jeep undercoated and obviously make sure you get rid of all the rust first before undercoating it. I'm not exactly sure which undercoating I would recommend because I have fluid film and you guys saw the kind of results that I have after one year. And with fluid film, you also have to apply it annually. So it's not like POR 15 or the rubberized undercoating where you just spray it on one time or paint it on and then just forget about it. So with fluid film, you do have to reapply it annually for it to actually be effective. But you guys saw my result after one year. So not really sure how I feel about it, but I do think next time that I do rust repairs to this Jeep, I will try out the rubberized like truck bed liner undercoating. I think it would look a whole lot better with the underside being black and kind of matching everything with the Jeep and not the kind of like yellowish rusty color that it is right now. So definitely let me know down in the comments if you guys have experience with using the rubberized truck bed liner undercoating thing. And let me know, you know, how it works on your Jeep as well. I think a lot of people reading the comments will, you know, find those kind of comments helpful. And if you guys have any other kind of rust prevention tips or advice, definitely drop those down in the comments below because I think it could be useful for, you know, everybody watching this video, including myself. So guys, that's going to do it for this video. Like I said, I just wanted to make a quick update video on the whole rust situation that I have on my Jeep Cherokee XJ here. But like I said, I have made a whole bunch of videos like this in the past, but it is a super common subject with these old XJs. So figured I would just give you guys a quick little update on where we're at with that and also the future plans with this Jeep. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure to drop those down in the comment section below. And if you guys have any video suggestions for videos you'd like to see in the future, also drop those down in the comment section below. And if you guys like this video or found it entertaining, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.